Good morning everyone. My name is Louise and I attend Parkhead Nazarene. So this morning I will be reading a psalm that has spoken to me specifically during this current season that we are in. The psalm I will be reading from is Psalm 116 starting at verse 12 through to 17 and I will be reading from the message version. So verse 12 says, What can I give back to God for the blessings he's poured out on me? I'll lift high the cup of salvation, a toast to God. I'll pray in the name of God. I'll complete what I promised God I'd do, and I'll do it together with his people. When they arrive at the gates of death, God welcomes those who love him. O oh God, here I am, your servant, your faithful servant. Set me free for your service. I'm ready to offer the thanksgiving sacrifice and pray in the name of God. So the history of who wrote Psalm 116 is unknown and he is only referred to as the psalmist. What we do know though is that God saved him from a great deal of worry and grief. I wish I could sit here and say that during this time of lockdown, I have never felt closer to God, but that wouldn't be entirely true. Instead, I have felt challenged and withdrawn, unable to shake the feelings of being disorientated and perplexed by what is going on in the world right now. And I'm certain that a lot of you feel the same way too. As each day passes, God has been revealing things to me about myself that I may not have dealt with had COVID-19 not happened. So verse 12 opens with a question. What can I give back to God for the blessings he has poured out on me? So what am I able to give back to God during this time of feeling that life, as I know it, has been stopped? For me, I should be able to give him more of my time, my focus, my attention, and my love. God has blessed me with an amazing family, a wonderful husband, a job that I find so rewarding, and most importantly, a relationship with him. In verses 13 and 14, the psalmist makes three declarations. Number one, to lift high the cup of salvation, a symbol of an act of worship to God. Number two, to pray in the name of God. So uttering blessings and thanksgiving through prayer. And number three, he'll complete what he's promised God he'd do. The NIV version says, I will fulfill my vows to the Lord. This signifying a declaration to devote himself to the worship of God forevermore. With everything that has been happening over the last few months, it has allowed me to pause, restart and rediscover myself, my relationship with God and my commitment to him. Verse 16 talks about being a servant, being a faithful servant for God. In reading this, I was challenged with the question, what does that look like for me? What does that look like for you? I am a scheduling to-do list kind of person. So when that was taken away from me at the start of lockdown, I'll be brutally honest and say that I was faced with an identity crisis of my own. Recently, through reading God's word, he has stripped me back and healed me in ways that only he knows how to. The psalmist in these verses encourages us to recognise that life has cycles and during our lifetime there is going to be times where we face challenges, where we face adversity and where we face pain. We have no control over when that comes or how it comes but what we do have control over is how we respond to those times. Let us pray. So Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for your goodness. Thank you, Lord, 
for those who are in that season of renewal because you are the ultimate restorer. Thank you, God, for the strength to walk out who you say that we are. God, it is you and nothing else that gives us daily grace, daily mercy and daily love. So may we step into alignment with your word on this day and every day after. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.